All right, everybody, welcome to Be Like Brits series, Connect, Engage, Learn. Today, we have a very special guest coming in from Palm Beach County, Florida, Mr. Johnny Lewis. How are you, Johnny? I am doing well, Bernie. How about yourself? Doing really good. Thank you so much for coming here to speak to the kids down in Haiti. It's a pleasure for me to see them and to be able to talk to them as well. Yeah, of course. So, Johnny, I'm just going to give a little background, but you're from Grand Guave, and that's where, the, just so you, if, if you're watching this and you don't know, Grand Guave is where Brit's home is, uh, Brit's Orphanage down in Haiti, and Johnny's from the same town, and his two younger sisters, one's a nurse for Be Like Brit, and the other is a caregiver, and that is Jerlyn and Lukna. And Johnny moved to the States about seven years ago, first to, I believe, Ohio, and then to Florida, and is a firefighter and a paramedic for the um, for Palm Beach County Fire Rescue. Sir. Well, well, take it away, Johnny. Well, thank you. Thank you, Bernie. I appreciate the introduction. And um, it's a pleasure for me to be able to be on this I would like to get to know all of you, if I can, a little bit. Um, I would ask you all to just tell me your name and maybe one thing that you like. Uh, don't make it long. Just tell me your name and one thing that you like. OK? Uh, can everybody hear me? OK. So we're going to do it very quick. I want to know one thing about you that you like and your name, and then we're gonna uh, continue with this uh, live. Try to introduce yourself and your name that you like call. Hello, my name is Daniel Tia. I like to dance. Oh, great. great. Thanks. Hello, I'm Schneider. My favorite is I like to do is to play soccer. Good. Hello, my name is Carson. I like to play soccer. Good. Thanks. No more soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Dave. I like to play soccer. <laughs> A lot of soccer players, huh? Dave, Dave, tell them your truth. Tell the truth. Something other than soccer. <laughs> Tell me something that you like, okay? Hello, my name is Vandali. I like to play volleyball. Okay. Oh. And it doesn't play. have to be playing. It's may, it may be a, a food that you like, you know, an instrument that you like playing. I know you guys like to play music as well. So something that you really like. Next. My name is Lubens. I love to sing and I love to play basketball. Great. Thanks. Hello, my name is Lorenz. I like playing tennis table. Good. Hello, my name is Shabish. I like to draw. Good. My name is Shanda. I like to go to the beach. Okay, we, we missed someone in the middle. Next, the one in the yellow. Yeah. Oh, okay. it's, it's another line. Okay, next. Thanks. My name is Tatiana. I like to dance. My name I like to play Koji. <laughs> next. My name, my name is Ephesians. I like to talk. Okay. My name is Suga. I like to play video games. Video games. Okay, not all day though. <laughs> Next. Hello, so my name is Benny. I like to sew. I like to sew. Like to sew. Okay. Next. Hello. Hello, my name is Daphne. I like to sing. Like to sing. Hello, my name is Mira. I like to watch movies. Like to watch movies, okay. Once a day, one movie a day, maybe. <laughs> Next, I, I'm Shinalu. I like to play soccer. Play soccer. 
Next. Okay. Good. Okay, soccer. Hello, my name is Malu. I like to stretch. Okay. That's it. Okay. Well, it is very good to hear everybody and what you like to do. Uh, because, you know, sometimes it, it's good to know what you like. Because when you know what you like, you have um, so many ways that you can, you know, you can contribute or you can you can make it happen. So I want to again talk a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Johnny. I like music. Okay, I like to play saxophone. Um, I, I I used to uh, like to play baritone, but now I like to play saxophone because I love music. Uh, I am a firefighter paramedic and I am working for Palm Beach County Fire Rescue. As you can say, I am at work right now. In a little bit, I will show you the station. I will show you what I do. Can everybody hear me? Yeah, 100%. Okay. okay. Um, can you also see my screen? They can see it, Johnny. Okay, can they, they can see me? I, we see you. We see you and then we see the speech here. Okay, good, good. So, as I said, um, I'm working for Palm Beach County Fire Rescue as a firefighter. Maybe a lot of you, you asking, what is a firefighter? What is a, a paramedic? What do they do? Okay, uh, I'm a first responder. First responder, that means when someone has, a, has, a, has an emergency, let's say someone has a seizure, someone has a stroke, uh, there is a fire, any type of emergency, uh, we respond. We're the first one to go on scene uh, to see what we can do to help. And then if we need to take that person to a hospital where they can continue to take care of them, we do that. So this is what we do as first responders. Uh, I believe uh, some of you might want to be uh, a firefighter or um, maybe a doctor or, or anything you want to do. You can do that, OK? Um, so as I said, I talked a little bit about myself. And uh, the next question I have for, for all of you guys is to tell me what is your dream? What is something that you would like to do or you would like to be when you grow up? And uh, everybody needs to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, even though you are living, uh, you have no hope, okay? You don't have a future. As we said, your future is yours to build. And I would like everybody to think about something that you would like to become when you grow up. Maybe some of you would like to be a doctor. Some of you would like to be an engineer. Some of you would like to be a police officer. I don't know. Everybody should have a dream because if you are at Be Like Great today, uh, you're not going to be at Be Like Great forever. At one time, you will have to be uh, in charge of yourself, you will have responsibilities. And for you to be okay, for you to be successful, you have to have a dream. So that's why right now I'm going to ask this question and I would like you to answer. What is your dream? What is something that you would like to do? What is something that you would like to become when you grow up? Can everybody answer this question for me? Right. Okay, let's start with this line. Start okay, who can answer this question? What do you want to be? What do you want to be? I like to be a baby. Louder. I like to be a baby. I want to be a social worker. 
I can hear very well. What did she say? I want to be a social worker. I want to be a social worker. Okay, that's good. Next. Next. What would you like to be when you grow up? My dream is to be a soccer player and to be a engineer. Soccer player, technology. Okay. Next. Well, I want to be a singer. You would like to be what? A singer. A singer. Okay. Next. Me, my dreams became an architect. An architect. An architect. Okay. Next. When I grow up, I want to be a psychologist. Psychologist. Okay. Next. I would like to be a pediatrician. A pediatrician. Okay. Next. I to be an engineer. An engineer. Good. Next. I would like to be a soccer player. A soccer player. Okay. My Next. Dream is, my dream is to become a singer and a basketball player. Okay. Next. I want to be a dermatologist. Dermatologist. Okay. Next. I want to be a soccer player or basketball player. <laughs> soccer player or basketball player. Okay. Next. When I grow up, I want to be a coach. I want to do a subject in my activity. Okay. Adapt. Doctor, okay, next. I want to be a pilot. A what? Okay, next. Let's keep it quiet, guys, so we can hear everybody, okay? I want to be a dressmaker and a model. Dressmaker and a model, okay, next. I would like to become a nurse. A nurse, okay. Next. My dream is to be a writer. A writer, okay. Next. Psychologist, okay. Next. Okay. Next. My dream is to become a nurse. Okay. Next. Okay, next. Okay, next. Okay. Is that it? Okay, listen, it is very good to hear your answers. That means all of you have dreams. There are no bad dreams. Like nothing you wanna be is impossible. Anything you wanna be, you can be, okay? So I wanna start with something that I know all of you have been doing it and it is really good. And I want to congratulate all of you because I see you speak very good English. Let's clap our hands for all of us. Let's clap our hands for yourself. You deserve that. So myself, uh, when I finished high school in Haiti, I couldn't go to college. I couldn't go to, to be a doctor or to be anything else. But I love languages. And I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to learn English. 
And I went to school, I studied very hard. And because of English, I am in the United States today. So it is possible for you also if you study hard. English is very important. When you speak English, you are able to talk to Bobby Lynn, right? You are able to talk to Mr. Bernie because you speak English. So I would like to encourage all of you to keep learning English. I know you have very good instructors uh, that are, or, or teachers that are teaching you English. It is very important to learn. Uh, do your research. Uh, if you learn something while you are watching a movie, uh, write it down, okay? Keep on learning English. When you learn English, you can live almost everywhere because in every country, there are people who speak English. Everybody understands that? Yes. So keep on learning English because that is important. I want to go to another, uh, another important part. So all of your dreams are possible, but I'm gonna give you some advice how to make those dreams become a reality. It's true you have dream, but if they do not become a reality, you are not going to be successful, okay? The first thing to be successful, you have to be disciplined. Everybody knows what that means, discipline? Yes. You have to be disciplined. If you have homework to do, you have to do it. If you have uh, to study for your class or for whatever you're learning, you have to do it. Just like at Bilak Grid, if you have uh, your station duty, if you have any part that you have to do, you have to do it. You have to get it done, okay? Don't say, okay, I'm gonna do it today, but tomorrow I'm not going to do it. You have to do it every day the way you are supposed to do it. If at school they give you something to do, you have to do it, okay? Second, do not give up. I know some of you say, okay, I wanna be a soccer player. I wanna be a basketball player. It's not impossible, okay? You might become, uh, you know, I don't know, you might, you might be in the NBA sometime. I don't know. Everything is possible, but you have to work hard. You should not give up. If you give up, you're not going to succeed, okay? Third, you have to respect others. So you have a lot of people that are helping you. You have Papi Lane, you have Mr. Bernie, you have all the teachers, you have the caregivers. You have to respect them because they are helping you, okay? They are showing you how to be successful. And I like the fact that you guys are very respectful right now. I feel very honored, okay? You have to be respectful. You have to be helpful. Anything you do, you will be helping people, okay? So you have to be willing to help each other. If someone needs something and you can help, you have to help them. If they're doing a, uh, like they're lifting something that is heavy, you have to help them. You have to work hard. Some people do not like to work hard. When I say work hard, I don't mean you have to, you know, carry buckets, you have to do a lot of heavy work, but everything you're doing, you have to do it with all your mind. You have to do it like with all your heart, okay? If you're studying, got to study hard. If you're doing something physical, you have to do it with all yourself. Some of you play soccer. If you're playing soccer, you have to do it with all yourself. I used to play soccer, so uh, I know you have to be strong. So everything you're doing, you have to work hard. And again, study hard. If you do not study, you're not going to learn. When you go to school, they give you a task. Or maybe you, you some of you like to read, okay? If you're reading, you find something you like, you write it down, go back to it and study it again. That will be good for you, okay? And the last point I wanna talk about is believe in yourself. 
If you do not believe in yourself, you cannot succeed. If you say you'd like to be a doctor, you have to believe that you can be a doctor. You have to believe that you can be anything that you want to be. Don't let anyone tell you, oh, you can't, you can't. Oh, you can't be a nurse. You can't be a doctor. You can't be an engineer. Even if people are saying that, you have to believe in yourself. You have to know that you can do it. And I believe in you. I believe that you can. So I know I talked a lot and uh, it's the first time we meet, but it's not the last time because we are going to meet again. So before I show you a little bit around the station, I'm going to give you guys a homework for the next time we're going to meet. I believe we're going to meet again. So the next time we meet, I want you to think deeper about your dream. Okay, today you didn't know. Maybe that's not really what you want to do. But I'm going to give you one more chance to go home. Think about your dream. Think about what you would like to become. So you're going to write one page. Grab your notebook or your computer, whatever you, you have. You're going to write one page about your dream. Tell me what you would like to be what you would like to do when you grow up and why you pick that dream. Everybody understands that? Yes. Okay, you're gonna tell me what you would like to be, why you pick that dream. So I believe in all of you, I believe that you can be anything that you want to be. I'm waiting for that homework and I believe you will do it. So before I close today, um, I really like the way you guys are interacting with me. You guys are be very respectful. You guys are a lovely group. But before I go, I'm going to show you uh, the station. I'm going to show you where I work so you guys can have an idea of uh, what I'm doing. Okay? Is everybody with me? Yes. Okay. So as I said, I'm a firefighter. So um, we res we're first responders. When there is something, we're the first one to go and help somebody. So this behind me is called an engine. Okay, when there is a fire, that's what we use to put the fire out. Okay, there is a lot of equipment in it. That's the station. In the station, we have six people every day. Okay, that's the engine. As you can see, there's a lot of tools, there's ladders, and that's where the water come out to put the fire out, okay? And that's the engine. And this, when someone is sick, they call 911. That's what we use to take them to the hospital or to help them. And inside the rescue, we have everything we need. If they need oxygen, if they need to get medication, we have everything we need to help that person. That's the rescue. We call that rescue, and the other one, we call it engine. And that's the firehouse. We live here. When we come to work, we work for 24 hours. Okay? 24 hours. Uh, whenever someone calls, we go on scene. So I'm gonna show you inside the rescue. So that's inside the rescue, you see? Yes. All, all of our medications, okay? This is like a bed for when the person is going to the hospital. We call it stretcher. Okay? This is a very good job because you have the opportunity to help people. Whatever the problem the person has, we are able to help them. So it was, it was my dream to become a firefighter, okay? I worked hard, I went to school, I studied hard, 
And now I'm a firefighter. At the fire station, we work out. That's, this is our thing. Okay, we work out. Um, we sleep inside. We have a kitchen where we cook. Uh, we have a bunk room where we sleep. So we do everything in the station. Okay? So maybe another time, I can show you guys a little bit more. Okay? Uh, maybe if we have a call, if I have the chance, I might show you guys a little bit more. But this is what I do. I love it. I love it. Uh, not only uh, for the money, but I love it because I am able to help other people. So I believe each one of you are going to be successful. Each one of you, when you live, be like great. Some of you say you're going to be doctors. Some of you say you're going to be an uh, engineer. You can do whatever you want to do. You can be anything if you work hard for it. So it was a pleasure to be with you guys. I don't know if you have any question before I leave. Yeah, let's give Johnny a round of applause, guys. Thank you. Thank you. That was incredible. Thank you so much, Johnny. I, um, I know the kids have a lot of questions, but I just want to ask you uh, the first one, and that is, what is the best advice you've ever received? Uh, the best advice that I have ever received was that I can be anything. I was in high school. I was actually in uh, Hilo. Uh, I was learning English, but uh, I was also practicing. I was working with uh, Lifeline and I was talking to uh, an American and he told me, what do you want to do, Johnny? And I told him what I want to do. He told me, take a piece of paper, write it down, and believe that you can be anything. So till this day, I remember that advice. That's beautiful. You can be anything. Very true. Very true. So how about Haiti? Any kids have any questions for uh, Mr. Johnny? Hey, Ginaldo. Can you give us an advice, please? The question, Jesna? What was the yes, question? Yeah, it was not a question, but I wanted to know if you could give them an advice. Oh, yes, I can give you an advice. And of course, I've uh, given a, a few. Uh, one advice that I can give you is do not give up. Okay? Uh, whatever you want to do, whatever your dream is, Keep working hard. Even if you fail, do not give up because sometimes you learn from your failures. If you fail and you give up, you're not going to succeed. But if you fail and you keep going, you will succeed. So the advice for you is do not give up. Very true. That is very true. How about somebody else? We have any other questions? I know Johnny has to get back to work. I see a question in the back. Yeah, Bani, what's on your mind, girl? My question is, at the beginning, it was easy for you to become a fire, a firefighter. And did you find some people that were discouraging you? Uh, it was very hard for me, OK? Because when I just came here, I said I wanted to come to the States and go to school. When I first came, I didn't know a lot about the culture. I had to learn about the culture. Uh, I did speak English because, as I told you, I was learning English just like you guys are. Um, I did speak English, but it was still hard for me to, to, uh, to adjust the culture. So it was hard in that way. And yes, I had people discourage me. They were like, oh, no, you can't do this. Uh, you from Haiti, um, you can't do this. Haitians never become firefighters. So I had people discourage me. But one thing, I believed in myself, okay? And I worked very hard. I studied hard. When they give me, when I go to school, uh, 
they give me something to do, I do it. If I'm reading something in the book, I don't understand. I have a dictionary nearby. I take notes. So I work hard and I believed in myself. That's why I was able to become a firefighter. The English word I think we lost uh, Mr. Bernie. Did someone else have, have a question before we? Okay, go ahead. Can you give us one of your best experience in the firefighter? Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, one of my best experience as a firefighter is that um, yesterday we had a two-year-old that was drowning at two years old. So when we, when we showed up, we were able to have that kid and now the kid is alive and well, two years old. So when you're a firefighter, you get to help everybody. You get to, um, to do things that you would not think you were doing. So one of my best experience was like yesterday, we had to have that one two year old who was drowning, okay? So he fell in a pool, he swallowed water. So we had to do CPR and uh, help him out. And we did that well. So that was a very good call. It... So sorry about that. I, I've had some internet troubles. We got a storm here, but the, uh, the, fancy, the fancy English word guys, it's called perseverance. And Johnny persevered against all odds. He moved forward. Everybody bashing him. You're not going to be able to make it. You're from Haiti. Haitians don't do. He he went against the norm and, and against what everybody was saying and was able to persevere. He moved forward. He, he kept putting one foot in front of the other. And look at him. He's the real deal. He's now working for Palm Beach County. It's unbelievable. He's a true success story. And not too long ago, he was on a condo. He was going to Taino. He was hanging out in Grand Guave. Yeah. Now he's living the American dream. And it's beautiful. And he said a lot of things today. And I hope you think about this later. He has said a lot of things that Poppy has preached to you. And Johnny was not prepped before this meeting. Poppy did not call Johnny and say, hey, Johnny, make sure you tell the kids that it's important for them to learn English. Poppy didn't do that. That came from Johnny's heart. So it's validation, what Poppy has preached to you guys. And you really should take this seriously and you should ponder and you should think about this later on. Yes, that's true. Um, English is important. You have to learn English, keep on learning and uh, don't give up, keep working hard, persevere. You will find, you know, trouble along the way, but keep working hard. I think your sister has a question now, Johnny. <laughs> That's not a question. Hello, Mr. Johnny. Hello, Mr. Ben. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear you, my brother. Uh, before you go, I want to say thanks to you. Uh, because you share, you share a lot of things to the kids. I really appreciate that. And continue like this. See you next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> that was great. Uh, that's a perfect way to... Um, end today's talk. So let's all give Johnny one more round of applause and we'll wish him well for the rest of his day. Thank you, thank Johnny. You, thank you, guys. Thank you. It was a pleasure. We hope you have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode on Connect, Engage, Learn. We really appreciate your time, and we'd like to thank our speaker and our guests and the kids down in Haiti for being so attentive 
And we wanted you to know that if you would also like to be a speaker and to meet our kids, you can go to BeLikeBrit.org forward slash speaker. Once again, it's just www.BeLikeBrit.org forward slash speaker.